what is up guys so today i'm gonna do a microphone test of the bm the bm 800 microphone in some gameplay i guess you could say for all those who are looking for a cheap microphone to shut up luster to uh start uh doing youtube so when i originally bought this mic a few months ago um it was worth about 40 bucks shipped um i actually looked that up um for this video and apparently they're worth 18 ship now so that's a very very good deal do i recommend it for that price i definitely do much better than uh you know your basic headset microphone um, i'm going to be doing a video about other budget stuff soon enough but for now we're just going to be focusing on this microphone so this microphone i bought um to replace my blue snowball why did i want to replace my blue snowball i wanted to replace my blue snowball because my desk is very small um my monitors are kind of low to me i guess you could say it's hard to explain but basically um the blue snowball in its normal stand was a pain to have on my desk and a pain to use it would like get in the way of my keyboard and stuff like that um I did end up buying the necessary things to put it on a microphone stand, the microphone stand that I have right now, or the boom arm stand, which is the newer boom arm stand. Um, but the problem was that it was a little bit too heavy and it, it actually fell once or twice and I'm glad that it didn't break because I ended up selling it and the buyer didn't give any complaints or anything so i'm pretty sure it ended up working fine i mean i used it a couple more times to make sure that it was completely working before i sold it don't think i just sold something broken but um it was pretty good so wow i hope there's no music on here i don't have my headphones on that's kind of quiet i don't think that'll give me a copyright if it does whatever i'll remake this video but <clears throat> so yeah so i sold my blue snowball i wanted to get something nice and cheap um something light and i found this microphone for 40 bucks at the time um i'm gonna be honest it gave me a ton of problems at first up until recently um it was just insanely staticky um stuff like that i actually looked for the battery powered one specifically which by the looks of it is sometimes a little bit more expensive and what i mean by that is the bm800 if you don't know is a condensed microphone which means that it needs a phantom power supply but those phantom power supplies are the cheapest ones the cheapest cheapest ones that you could find are about 20 bucks on amazon um, I actually bought one recently to see if it boosts up my microphone's quality, but unfortunately, all it did was um, make it static -y, more static than it was, and I ended up, you know, I didn't even send it back, actually, I have it over here. The problem was, it was from China, and it took about a month to get here from an Amazon seller, a Chinese Amazon seller, and... Basically, I don't want to go through the trouble for $16 um, because I'm sure that they're not going to return the shipping costs. So, yeah, I paid $20 shit for it. It was called the newer Phantom Power Supply. Um, I'll keep it for now. Maybe, maybe it's the item itself that's faulty or maybe it's just this BM800 model that is battery powered. So it doesn't take phantom power, which sounds weird, but that's what I'm dealing with right now. Um, so like I said, this is currently the BM800 battery powered model. I'll make sure to mention that in the description for people who are looking for uh, sound tests. So I don't know, basically, the big thing that I like about this is the pop filter that comes with it. It actually really does help the quality of the microphone. Um, 
which is what you should use. You should always have a pop filter when you're doing YouTube because the P's and the S's and everything else become really annoying when people are trying to watch your videos. So that's a, a big plus. Um, like I said, the BM800 is about 20 bucks right now. It comes with the um, audio cable which is a um man i forget what it's called the boxes just show audio cable but it's basically the three pin connector which is used for instruments and stuff like that my other microphones um to a 3.5 millimeter jack which is obviously what most people use um i do recommend you getting a external usb sound card or a pci sound card because I don't know if you guys can hear, but my audio is pretty clear. Um, the reason why I haven't been using this microphone so much lately is because of the static. It's just, it's so, so bad. Um, I don't know if it's my computer, my house's electricity, like the plugs, or something in my house because it's old, or I don't know, but it just picked up so much static and it was so bad. But actually the problem was solved by using one of my old headsets usb sound cards so basically what i do is i connect the usb sound card obviously um i connect the 3.5 millimeter jack to the microphone port on the usb sound card and i connect my headset to the audio on the uh, motherboard or my case or whatever you want to call it um, separately and I just leave the USB sound card for my microphone just in case anything interferes with it and during my test before this video um, it's it seemed to fix the problem um, I don't know we'll find out the final verdict when I uh, edit this video and see how it sounds hopefully it wasn't a waste of time but it might have been hopefully not though you probably might not even see this video if it was a waste of time but hopefully it's not um but we'll, we'll end up seeing but now that the audio problem is fixed um i'm gonna be uploading a lot more videos but that's not the point of this video is it so conclusions about the bm800 microphone right now you can get it on ebay for 18 bucks personally personally i recommend getting the battery powered one again i haven't really tested out the bm800 uh phantom powered one the one that needs phantom power and doesn't have a battery power operated uh socket i guess you could say um but um, I'm sure it's it'll sound comparable or better, but I mean that's up to you if you want to pay you know the twenty bucks for it and then you want to pay the twenty dollars for the phantom power supply for forty bucks if you have the desk space the desk room the setup for it I'd recommend getting a used snowball for forty bucks um but that's just me. Um, if you're in the same situation I am and you need something that can go on a boom arm more easily that you won't be afraid of it falling like I was that actually fell a few times from the boom arm um, you know go with this mic it's a good mic 18 bucks 19 bucks shipped 20 bucks shipped depending on the seller but I don't know you guys be the judge this has been recorded fully with the B800 microphone but if you guys have any questions, I'll try to answer them. This has been like a month ordeal, like not every day, but it has taken me a few months to gather the stuff, the settings, um, to basically get the microphone to sound how it sounds. And <laughs> honestly, I'm not even sure that this quality is the best, but it's better than a headset microphone. Um, like I said... I'm going to be working on getting another full set of budget microphones and I'm going to be doing a video on that soon enough, but that's a video for another time. And yeah, I don't know. I guess that's pretty much everything I wanted to say. Um, if you guys can hear the keyboard in the background too, that's basically a test for myself and a test for you guys if you guys are interested. 
if you guys have a um a Khalil Blue Switch microphone microphone a Khalil Blue Switch keyboard for example a Death Stalker or oh my god a Death Black Widow Ultimate what am I talking about Black Widow Ultimate 2013 or newer um, they use the same type of switches and basically wow well, just thought basically any newer Chinese keyboard um, I have the KK Moon mechanical gaming keyboard and it's basically the razor switches but um not called razor switches because they're basically rebranded Khalil switches which is a chinese brand like i said but yeah um hopefully you guys enjoyed and if you guys have any questions like i said earlier i don't know if i said that earlier i forget but if you guys have any questions i'll do my best to answer them um my settings are basically bm800 microphone battery powered it's connected to a usb sound card my particular sound card is called the sound blaster alpha 3d um there's no mic boost but i'm using the adobe audition uh program running at the in the background at all times while i'm recording to amplify the audio 20 db um if you connect it directly to your motherboard, you can just do it directly through Windows if the driver allows for it. But if not, you need to get a sound card that allows you to do that. Um, I'm not really sure of one, but um, I'm, I don't even know if external cards will let you do that. But I'm sure there's something out there for you guys if you need that. If you can't get like Adobe or something like that to run in the background while you're recording. But yeah that's pretty much it um that's basically it i just have amplifying it up 20 db like i said and it is on a newer mic arm and that's basically it so if you guys enjoyed leave a like leave a question and i'll see you in the next one guys